Now next we will study the concept of database languages. Just like a normal language allows two or more people to interact with each other, we have a concept of database language which allows a user to interact with the database. Okay. The basic purpose of a database language is it basically has two purposes. One is to define the database and another is to populate and manipulate the database. Okay? So on the basis of this, the database language is broadly categorized into two set of languages. We have something called data definition language and we have something called data manipulation language. We'll first take a look at, okay, just look at the short forms here. This is called as DDL, data definition language. This is called as DML, data manipulation language, okay? So I'll refer to them as DDL and DML. Let's first look at what DDL is. DDL helps me in defining the database as we've already talked about. So, what do you mean by definition of the database? Obviously, the definition of the database means it helps me specify the schema. Okay? So, it helps me specify the schema. So, in schema, what I can do is do it like this. Within the schema, I can provide data structures which tells me how the data is being stored, okay? So if I am talking about person, then this language is going to tell me that the person concept is being stored as a name, as a phone number, as an address, okay? So this is the concept of data structures. It tells me how this person is basically defined in the database via data structures. The next concept is it helps me specify integrity constraints. We've already talked about what these are, so I won't take it up further again. Just like an integrity constraint on phone, all phone numbers should be 10 digit numbers, okay? So that's an integrity constraint. Then next, it helps me provide data semantics. Data semantics is basically how the different data concepts are related to each other. I can say that this person and we have a car concept, okay, which can have data structure like model, year, car number, okay. So the data semantics parts tell me, tells me how this person guy is related to a car entity, okay, relation. And finally, it also helps me define the storage structure. Storage structure or storage implementation. We talked about the internal schema. This thing provides me to define the internal schema. I can tell 